Welcome to part 3, in which we're going to take a fairly flat contrasting shot like this and adjust the mid-tone contrast using colour curves. Now we have some very bright highlights in the background here, but the main subject is actually fairly flat. There's not really a huge range of dark shadows and bright highlights on the actual berries, so we're going to tweak the contrast and we're going to use colour curves to do that because they're very powerful ways of targeting specific tonal ranges like your mid-tones or your highlights or your shadows. And to find colour curves, what we need to do is pop up to Enhance. We're going to use this image here, it's called Part 3 Before. And if we go to Enhance, Adjust Colour, we can find Adjust Colour Curves by clicking like so. And that opens up the Adjust Colour Curves command. Now, curves can be a little bit daunting at first, but they're actually fairly easy to use, especially in Photoshop Elements. Here you have a handy Before and After, so you can see how your editing is shaping up. And down here you have the actual curve itself, though at this stage it's a straight line, so nothing is actually being changed, no tones are being altered. At the bottom left here we have the shadows, then as we move up through these control points we go to the mid-tones, and then up towards the highlights at the top right of the curve. So if I push this point up, we would brighten the highlights, if I pull this point down, we darken some of the mid-tones and shadows. So you'll see these curve points moving as we either adjust the sliders or play around with these styles. Now styles are a great place to start with curves, and that's because they're sensibly named and you don't actually need to understand what the curve is doing to enjoy the benefit of the style. For example, let's say we want to darken the highlights. You click here and that adjusts the curve by pulling the highlight slider down a little bit and it darkens the actual highlights in the shot. If you wanted to increase the contrast, click here for example, and now the highlight slider is pushed up, brightening the highlights, and the shadow slider is being pulling itself down to darken the shadows. And that's also darkening some of the midtones as well. They're quite organic curves because they bend in curvy ways. So that actually creates much more juicy and uh, tasty looking berries. I'm not sure if we could actually eat these or not, I'm no expert, but they certainly look much more vibrant and attractive by increasing the contrast. Now in the full version of Photoshop you've got more control over your curves in the sense you can actually click and drag these points around but you can't actually do that on this particular elements version. That's probably quite good because it's easy to get over the top with your curves adjustments and you can end up creating some really horrible over the top effects like this. But luckily it's easy to go back to another preset. We can lighten the shadows here. You can see now that the shadow end of the curve is pushing upwards lightening the shadows and some of the mid-tones as well. So there's lots of choice there and we can probably get most of the results we want by going to something like increased contrast which gives you that typical S shaped curve that's lightening the highlights and darkening the shadows. So once you've got a curve you like you can then start to change the style by using the adjust sliders here to tweak highlights, brightness for the midtones and the contrast of the midtones and also adjusting the shadows. So if we do want to tweak the midtone contrast we can just drag this slider to the left and that gives us a slightly flatter contrast, or if we drag it to the right we can create a, a darker contrast depending on the look that we want to get. So something like there is giving some nice definition between our shadows, midtones and highlights and you could brighten up the midtones as well by dragging them to the right slightly like so. And as I drag you can see this midtone slider in the middle is just popping up slightly and lifting up the midtones of the shot. So as we can see from the before and after the tones are better now. We've got a wider range of shadows mid-tones and highlights, but it's also modifying the colour of our shot as well by changing the tones. So when you're happy, you can click OK. If you're not happy, you click Reset, and you can experiment with some of the other styles until you get the result that you fancy. Now this small preview window is all very well, but to see the effect, you really need to see it on the actual photo. So let's click OK, and it will apply the change like so. If you go to Edit Undo, you can see the before, fairly flat looking there, and then Redo Colour Curves and you end up with a print with more punch. Now in the next movie we're going to get rid of nasty sensor spots using the very suitably named spot healing brush tool.